What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Jam34 and we're bringing you to the TFGO League Week 9 matchup of the Raiders coming to Detroit to face our 6-1 Lions. Raiders are 4-4 themselves. We're still going to be without Mike Gesicki and AQ Shipley this week. Our backups have been stepping up pretty well in their absence, so we're going to look to keep that going. Raiders have some nice talent on both sides of the ball. They do have our former Lions wide receiver Marvin Jones, who they acquired in the trade, and they also have defensive tackle Akeem Spence, of another former Lion. Our offense has been playing very well, and hopefully we can continue that. So let's dive into the game. We're going to start with play action. Stafford is going to overthrow a wide open Kuti. The Lions would go three and out and punt on that drive. Coming back, Raiders facing a third and eight, and Duke EGU4 comes off the edge and he's gonna sack Carr. Lions will get the ball back. Facing a third and 16, Stafford, and he's gonna find Emmanuel Sanders downfield inside the five yard line. They will finish this drive off with a Crowell run to the outside for the touchdown. Lions up seven nothing at this point. Now we go into the second quarter. Here's Carr looking deep down the left sideline, but Glover Quinn's going to step in front of that and intercept the pass. Stafford looking to come back the other way. Looking down the seam for Emmanuel Sanders. This time he's intercepted by Navarro Bowman, Stafford's first interception in a few weeks. So the Lions give it right back to the Raiders. Here's Carr with the play action. Finds a wide open Amari Cooper getting into Lions territory. Carr again, and he finds his man on the sideline, and they'll get, they're going to settle for a field goal there, so 7-3. Now here's the Raiders with the ball in the third quarter, finding Marvin Jones with a nice completion. Marvin Jones, former Lion, had a pretty nice game, but Carr looking deep into the end zone. This time it's going to be intercepted by Deshaun Shedd, so no damage done there. Here's Stafford with a ton of time in the pocket on a third and nine. Finds Manuel Sanders, but he is hit and the ball jars loose. So Raiders get the ball back. That was the Lions' only possession in the third quarter. So here's Carr, and he's going to find Marvin Jones again. Nice completion for the first down. The Raiders have a perfect play call. The Lions sent a blitz, and there's no one to pick up the screen play to the running back. Now third and 11. Carr has time. Looking on the corner route for Amari Cooper, who beats Darius Slay for the first down up to the five yard line. Third and goal now. Carr fits it in between the linebacker to his receiver in the end zone for the touchdown. Credit to the Raiders for completing that play. That was a big score in a low scoring game. Now Lions get a chance in the fourth quarter to get the ball back finally. Not on the same page as his receivers there. After a few punts, the Lions get one more shot. With three minutes left, starting on their own three-yard line, Raiders send a blitz, but Stafford is going to find Kajust here for the first down to get some breathing room. Now Stafford is going to find a wide-open Kiki Kuti. Kuti led the Lions in receiving in this game. Two minutes left now. Lions moving the ball. Stafford's going to find a sliding Kuti deep into Raiders territory. Lions are within field goal range, so they should at least get a tie out of this. Stafford with the play action pass. He has Kuti, but he's late with the throw. The safety steps in front of it and bobbles it. Hacky sacks it off his knee and picks it off. That's Carl Joseph with the game ending interception. And the Raiders will pull this one out over our Lions. It was a low scoring, ugly defensive battle. Neither offense really got a whole lot going, but the Raiders had a game plan and they stuck to it and it worked. They dominated the time of possession, came in and played solid defense. The Lions could not get anything going on the ground game and it was just one of those games where Stafford was just off. The Lions will move to 6-2, and two, Raiders to 5-4, and four, and a big matchup next week against the Panthers. And then the week after that, the Lions play the Green Bay Packers. Another huge game for them. Hopefully Stafford can get back on track as well as the Lions offense, but until next time, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.